at some point in your fishing season, no matter what you like to fish for, you're going to find yourself fishing vertically, right beneath the boat. This is the perfect opportunity to leverage your boat control skills, as well as state-of-the-art hummingbird sonar, to find and catch more fish. Now before we talk about electronics, let's talk about bait, tackle, and presentation. You want to use enough weight, either in your lure itself or in a drop shot weight, to keep the bait near the bottom and your line as vertical as possible. Braided line will help, as its thin diameter will cut current better and be less impacted by wind. In general terms, shorter rods are preferred for vertical presentations over longer ones, as they provide for more effective line and lure control. A big part of the appeal of fishing vertically is that we can use our hummingbird fish finders to monitor our lure and the fish relating to it in real time. Our focus will be on using traditional 2D sonar, as it provides the largest coverage area directly beneath the boat. Lower your bait into the water and keep it close to the sonar source, or the transducer, so that it remains within the coverage area of the 2D sonar beam. In shallow water, use the wide or full chirp spectrum for the widest coverage area. In deep water, switch to the narrow chirp spectrum for better depth penetration and to focus on fish that are near the lure and not far away. Adjust your 2D sonar sensitivity so that you can just see the lure. That means higher sensitivity for small lures and lower sensitivity for larger ones. If you're having issues keeping track of your lure, consider using Switchfire Max Mode. This is also a good time to dial up your chart speed so that sonar returns from the lure and nearby fish won't be compressed on the display. With these tips, no matter what you're fishing for when you're fishing vertically, your Humminbird 2D sonar will help you to find and catch more fish.